But something that we'll find is oftentimes our opponent gets ahead of us in that fight to, to choose the side and kind of define uh, that situation. So let's just scoot this way down a little bit. When my opponent starts to win here, it's typically going to be too late to throw them back, right? So when we feel that they have the initiative and they're starting to move our weight to the side where our arm is trapped, instead of fighting laterally back, we're going to throw our weight forward, okay? I'm going to throw my weight forward, which will start to flatten my opponent. Remember, he wants to be balled up in the, in the uh, butterfly sweeps. Essentially, his shoulder to the side he's sweeping me towards wants to take the place of his knee, right? So he wants to stay very low and compact. So as he starts to win this fight, I'm going to throw myself forward, bounce, and correct, and land back on the side of so it's going to look like this angle. As I start to be taken sideways, I'm going to push off my toes. That starts to flatten and kind of overextend my opponent. And then as he starts to push the ground, I'm going to unlock my leg so I can push and land back on the side where I can use my underhook to control uh, my opponent flat on the floor. So one more time from this angle. Let's see, I'm already, I was already on the balls of my feet so I can push forward and try to flatten my opponent when he starts to win this fight instead of continuing to the side, right? You can see how that's starting to unlock this or starting to lock this leg under my body. It's like keeping it folded under my body as I get swept. I'm gonna throw my body forward so I can push the floor and come back to this side, okay? And so the kind of the second game we can build out of this is uh, now our opponent is trying to sweep us to that side rather than just, you know, uh, get a shoulder on the mat, right? And then we're trying to get our opponent back to the this side.